I have to reorient this thing, right? For proper orientation. For that, use the space, right? So it will rotate at 90 degree. Now, in this system, we will create one duct system, that is a supply air system. Right. For the creation of supply air system, click on any component, supply component, then here you can see the create systems. We have to create the duct, let's click on duct. Now it is, you can see supply air is only the one option system type and system name you can classify the system name right mechanical supply air one or supply air you can classify based on the lecture room also lecture 18 right then click over over here open in system editor because this is a part of the system but I have to add other component also so now click on this component right <coughs> this is a equipment here there is option for select equipment let's add finish let's check First of all, the orientation in 3D form. Here you can see, based on experience, you supposed to know that fan duct will be come over here. There is a band out there, right? So that this is our main branch, and then there is a or branch are sub branch are there. so for that we have to place this VAV on the upper side so that accommodate the band <coughs> now you can see if there is error we can also make it up for you supposed to lift up for Okay, this is a primary work. Let's back to our selling plan. Now, how to create layout? Click on that any component again. Now here you can see there is a different options. Generate layout. That shows the layout over here. Here you can see generate layout. There is option, and there is a description over here for the help purpose, right? And there is a one graphical not to create the layout just click on that <coughs> now you can see one layout different solutions you can see here there is a type first is a network parameter and intersection in network there is a six options are there to show the layout let's check other option here you can see this is our main branch this is a sub branch right and here you can see there is a one branch main branch attached but here you can see there is a one problem that color shows the error right avoid this error or solve it manually Now it's look perfect, but let's see the parameter also. Intersections. Right. Two options. Also look good. Right. 
and then there is a most important thing settings same settings we have seen in the mechanical setting main and branch in main branch select the type of duct in last lecture we have seen the T I think tap let's apply the T's over there rectangular duct radius elbow T and this is offset for the main branch so let's change the main branch option to our 3000 same as a for VAV placement and same for the branch let's place on the same thing place and here duct type for the branch option for different types of so select the same groove if you select the rectangular duct radius elbow T then T tap then tap so select the same group if possible then there is an option for flexible duct if you want to create it select it right now we avoid we'll see that later click ok right here you can see simple planar view but sometimes we cannot identify the layout or offset from that so if you want to check the uh, offset point of view just open one more window that is a 3d window for that we have to cancel this thing let's cancel this thing and meanwhile let's check our tile Here there is a 3D. Let's uh, remove one of the green tile. Okay, now we will work on that and we can see over here exactly in 3D form. So there is a less chance of error. This is, I think, base practice for that. Orient it, zoom over here, and start building the system in the same way. Select component generate layout now check the solutions your setting we require the same change because we have not have the same setting let's click on that again change it meanwhile here you can see in 3d form right here you can see so when we place here also the error right because in top view we cannot visualize the error so from this 3d point of view we can minimize the error and we can work the work fast so let's increase the offset and branch Now we can see still there is an error over here because it is a radius band so it's, it's required distance to band right <coughs> so there is a still required to increase the height let's increase uh, 3 to double zero same way sorry in that branch also so that at a moment the radius now you can see it is a remote but at the same time you can see there is a band over here because that level is 3000 so it will band it and connect it so there is one more option we can down this VAV at the 2600 Otherwise, make it at the same level, 3 to double zero. So, this is the option for that. So, <coughs> for doing this, let's make it finish. We will do it at later.
Let's hold it. Here is a problem. It is a problematic band is there that is unclassified. Right. So to solve this problem, we have to solve it. How to solve it? Let's do it. First of all, delete this thing. method initially you supposed to set the orientation of that set to 3200 apply now it is at the same level now connect connect to Supplier this. Now you can see completely solved. Right? Likewise you're supposed to solve this type of error. Meanwhile you have to open this if you open this it is easy to visualize your layout right and minimize your error for here. <coughs> here you can see it is a T connection last time we have selected the duct at the uh, there is a T type if it is a tap type it is only connect directly to the duct and now the size of each duct is the same so if you want to change it you can change it by selecting it just select the thing and you can change the size right so let's create same uh, type of layout to other room let uh, minimize let increase the size because the room size is almost same for this right so actually this is a, our uh, main system where the air flow is uh, supplying to the air terminal let's meanwhile check our <coughs> system browser in system browser you can see there is a one system mechanical supply and supplier you can see one VAV box that supply to the four terminal right here you can see so system browser give the information for the all the system that are part of your building so on the one ground you can see the mechanical system piping electrical right Same way I have to create on other side. Let's close this in. You can do it again same procedure for that creation of the layout of the duct or just select it. Check if this filter is okay. Equipment duct fitting atom okay and just copy. So creating copy just select our reference we have to create multiple copy you can create it for the adjacent room let's click on multiple okay. and also constraint
likewise you can copy it more than once let's escape let's check our system browser okay now you can see our <coughs> two more system let's minimize this Here in mechanical supply R1, but here the sequence you can see VAV on the top, right? That is a supply to the supply R1 lecture 18 room, and there is a air terminal. But here there is sequence is VAV at the bottom. So we have to rearrange the things. That is a system. For that, select over here, right? Then here it is option for select equipment. Click on that. Select this equipment. Now you can see it is a rearranged. We have on the top because it is a supply to this adder. Same way we can do for this. Select, select equipment, select. It. on it again select select equipment okay. now this is a proper sequence right so can we change the airflow in, in that column or not what can we change the airflow in that column yes uh, we require to change it but uh, let's we require to check the capacity or, or not capacity but calculated airflow to particular room so select the air this is a space you will get the information over here calculated supply 1204 right based on heating and cooling calculations it is it has been estimated so we have to supply it but here you can see actual supply based on the air terminal we have placed it is 940 so we have to increase it to accommodate this difference so how much we require to increase per per air terminal when you select this air terminal you can see 235 is the airflow right so let's increase to 250 it's 1000 near outlets uh, 250 to 7 to 60 to 70 lots but only here you can see only one air terminal has been changed but I have to sub apply these things to all so for that select this thing control selection or <coughs> same way select like this filter based on that only a terminal I require to select. Check now. Specify the flow seventy. So let's check. Select the space. can see actually is a 108 it's still lacking near about 200 300 let's add uh, 50 100 uh, so there is a one more method and that's control based method <coughs> Make it three hundred. Right. Twelve hundred. So it will become twelve hundred. Mm -hmm. 
here you can see it is a 1200 but calculate is a 1204 it is a actually near about so it is okay right likewise you supposed to increase the flow capacity you can see it, it has been changed over here you can change from here itself also let's see is not changing because it, you have to uh, select from here uh, and directly change from here. because same thing it is selection select from here or select from here but what, before that you have to check the space requirement because the, it is a lecture room it is more or less it is <coughs> the same let's select this thing it is also near about 1200 flow is a it is more it is in more than that so based on that you, you have to increase your flow so you can 400 uh, or 500 near about 500 you can do it select this thing here you can see it has been selected and make them Here you can place it 500. Now total load has been changed. Supply we have increased. Now you can see the total. So it is 100. So you have to 525. <coughs> so likewise, you can change it your load, right? And <coughs> make the, your uh, air supply such that it match your calculated supply same way you can check this room here might be the space is a higher it is a possibility and here you can see here you can see that is a one window is there might be that's why changes are there right so here there is a window so that main factor can be changed over here yeah so likewise you can change it from here itself so uh, supply you have to set it so supply from where you will get the supply supply you will get from the AHU right so let's place our system AHU over here so just generally someone rooms are there allocated for the AHU check in our view because uh, from floor plan we will come to know the name of the different view right here you can get the name okay. and there is a rooms are there where uh, you can allocate the AHU otherwise it might be on the different floor Let's check other floor. Second floor. Second floor, then there is a roof. No, sorry, third floor is there. Third floor, this is a mechanical room, right? So come to know very fast. So go to annotate. Let's tag by category. Okay, tag all. So here you want to 
apply the tag to your space let's find space tag apply and okay okay there is a no space we have defined that's why it's great problem so basically architect provide this is a mechanical room let's place the vav over here <coughs> go to system mechanical equipment here you have to find your ahu and in it. but this is a vertical right if it is not in your uh, this system that you can uh, you can load it from load family load family find the location of that family here is a one ahu open this is a whole family loaded over here and that we can use it for our purpose we can place it over here right escape because capacity and all must be match right here is our hu here is the out here is the in right so we have to match this thing with our that is a vav system we have to create same layout over there otherwise create manual layout right otherwise you can place this at the same floor also we have place at the third floor and our system is at the first floor so for that we have to go to <coughs> at the three dimensional here you can see our system the placement let's uh, change the position because it's near to wall slope near to wall okay okay now same way i have to create one supply system over here because this thing supply this all vav select control selection click on that Give the name supplier three. Right. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if you want to see the system, now you can see there is a one dotted box is there. Right. Now we have to create layout. Let's create layout. see it is three dimensional so difficult to visualize now you can see the here it is somewhat error is there. so look right this is a supply system only this is a one error likewise you can have a layout uh, different layout let's check the layout Which one is optimized that you supposed to select? Likewise, network for parameter. Mm. 
intersection okay let's go to network and select appropriately okay this one is look good so you can set your setting also what type of duct you require to place <coughs> okay Here you can see there is a connection problem there. So there was not enough room to place the required fitting. Consider increasing the length of the segments or moving them further apart to generate a solution. Right? I think you know that. Let's solve this thing. Let's go to our floor plan. There is a many method to connect. Right. So this is open and you can close it from here. So select tab and now it is connected. Likewise, you have to connect other disconnection. Let's check where it is. Here is a connector. Here it is required to connect. <coughs> In 3D form, it is difficult to connect it. So there is an option for that. Uh, let's create one section. We already have section. Let's reorient and place it over here. And minimize the area. What concentrate to that particular area? Double click. Let's change to shader media. Connect and change length modify. Yes, modify command you can use it over here. Definitely. It is very helpful. Let's use it. Let's modify. You can use this command. Trim and is a reference. And 
सो दैट इज मोर बेटर ओके वन मोर इज रिमेनिंग solution was found okay so this might be the error because our banding creation of band it's maybe more than yes, yes. yes. or you can reduce this uh, let's let's move this thing so <coughs> might be Let's go to first of all floor and take section over here. It is more advisable. Flip. can see our network right i think <coughs> this is this is better if you are connected with this in dream and action call because it's reduce the tab and right likewise you supposed to create your network of your air system right same way let's see in our system browser Let's click on that. Okay, it is uh, over here. Same way for the supply. Select.
select equipment. Uh, this is I think our equipment that supply our system. Now you can see it has this place on the top. Now under this thing, these all things are <coughs> okay. Likewise, you can use your system browser to understand the whole supply. This is your AHU, AHU supply to the this VAV box and under the VAV there is the air terminals are there. So this is a proper tree. If you are doing this way, it will easy to accumulate the data and you can visualize it perfectly in the system browser. Right? So likewise on the all the floor on the first floor or sorry this is ground floor and on the ground floor you are supposed to spread your network like this okay